Hello all you awesome people out there and welcome back to this let's play of Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth Where I think I just have to go outside the door But um, I did not check this area at all since um, we just entered chapter 2 <laughs> um, Doesn't seem like there's anything I can really do here though, so <laughs> let's go out So, but I hope you're ready to sit back and enjoy and have yourself From our humble establishment Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Okay. Queen's blood? Oh god, is that a card game? <laughs> I will try to avoid playing that as much as possible because that will be a time sink. Uh, you can now play card... Yeah, that's a card game. Uh, learn how to play... That will be for I myself think um, when I inadvertently will play this game to 100%. Hey, little chest, do you have anything good for me? Bottle of either. Um, but yeah, I hope you have something to drink and. Already for a couple of hours with me today because um, we're going to take a whole chapter. <laughs> oh, uh, doesn't this really seem that it's in anything? Yeah, okay. Uh, the game was set to 4K uh, instead of. Uh, 60 frames per second, so <laughs> I rather want the smooth than the pretty because YouTube will probably tank that graphic, anyways. So, did I hear a voice or is it outside? I don't think there's anything up here. No, okay. <clears throat> Uh, where's the stick? He's not there. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Oh. <laughs> in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector Good morning, 0, sir. Good morning. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh. But Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't <laughs> waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Yep. Uh, adjust your party's gear by accessing material and equipment. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Yeah. Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Any what? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The What's first customization folios? is always free. Am I an idiot for not knowing what the folios is? Okay, I have a couple of things I can do. Hey, Red. Day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me. I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. You are a loyal dog, you know that. <laughs> oh, uh, if you have your equipment checked, hmm. have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Pushing what that were. There are a lot of things I have no clue what is. <laughs> uh, overcoming challenges, helping people in need. And explore the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increase your party's level. 
The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in the folios. Still not clue what the fuck that is. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing. I want to play, but what if I lose? <laughs> what do you want? Don't scare me like that. You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that. Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Give okay. me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> True, but <laughs> still. People call me cry baby dead. Because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's blood. <laughs> oh, more pity people say on you. Um... It's fine. Okay, so these are just card games. Um, I do not know if they unlock anything and I'm missing out on important stuff. Okay, I'm not supposed to go this way. Okay. Okay, hi Baron Kylegate. Where's the music come from? Oh, there. Okay. And I couldn't talk to him, no. I was wondering if it was the same as in the first game where... Oh, hey, Aerith. Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards... Wanna climb the clock tower together? Uh, if I have to, I'm busy. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> sure, let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Yes. Uh, Cloud's actions affect the relationship with his allies and the strength of those bonds that also. Oh, I'm trying that again. Uh, he tells us, and uh, the strength of those bonds can alter the uh, portions of the story. Oh, uh, press L Y to view the commands feeling towards cloud. Congress feeling towards cloud. Sorry, I can't read. Uh, as indicated by the symbol, such as happy and really happy. <laughs> so, oh, she is not happy with me apparently. I'll catch up with you later. All right. But I'm guessing that's just because it's the beginning of the whole. Hello. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. <laughs> it's the first visit to a bookstore ever for me. It can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Okay. Uh, spin skill points, SP, uh, at Magnata Books locations uh, to... Automate and automate uh, to. Wow, well, I can't read for shit today. Spin skill points, SP, at the Magnata Books locations and automate. Oh, it's a full. It's the name of the things. Location and auto. Automa, automats. Automats. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, to augment your party's uh, folios. Thus unlocking powers, talents, and your allies. Okay. That one, I just want the touch tool on. Uh, select cloud. Oh, so it's like this sphere grid thing from Final Fantasy X, I guess. Uh, the orange skill, of course, uh, can be unlocked by spending skill points. Um, move the cursor over the skill core to see what it does. Uh, for now, move the skill on the left. The cloud uses arrows magic to unleash a ranged attack. Uh, you have mastered a new uh, synchrony skill. Okay. 
As you unlock the skill cores, additional cores became avail becomes available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when. Adapting the character streams to suit your playstyle. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. Fair enough. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. What'll it be? Okay, let's see if there's anything. So I have five or zero, it says. Yeah, so I can't unlock anything. Uh, I'm just thinking of taking these that is down here first. Okay. <laughs> this one. So, and I can also see who they can partner with. So this is only buried where this is everyone. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Just Thanks a little bit. You're welcome. Bye. This is where it all began. The okay. I don't know. Wait, who said that? Oh. You sounded like Tifa. <laughs> Some people have fun here. I do like that they're not totally in sync. Okay, so the armor shelf should be here. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Thank you. See, it's custom made. Action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Uh, okay, adjust your weapon skill via upgrade uh, weapons in the main menu. Raising your character's weapons level will unlock more of these skills, as well as stat boost, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Okay, let's see. So, weapon upgrade? Cloud? But is it, can Max have 25 points or... I'm questioning that right now. Okay, this is um, changed out a little. Uh, you can choose how to auto optimize your weapon skill using the free available options. Optimize, uh, prioritize attack, defense, or strike a balance between the two. Uh, you can accuse them of skills and notes. Okay. See what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Thanks. Just make sure you take proper care of her. All right. Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Okay, that is more what I'm here for. What do we sell? Okay. So, I need still the efficiency bonuses, but I don't have enough for this one at the moment. I only have 2,000 and I need 3,000. I'll be back. Oh. Yeah. You take care of that weapon now. Sure thing. Uh, can I go to was it weapon upgrade again?
Um, let's see, if I set it to balance, then it will just do it automatically. Then I don't have to think too much. At least hope. <laughs> Uh, anything else? I am not getting... When did I set a summoning? I'm guessing... The character's portrait means that it already is equipped to someone. Okay. Well, that's out of the way. Let's um, let's move out. Okay. Wow, she looks so much like. Um, Oh, uh, what's her name? Um, Vanille. Uh, from Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> Cloud! Over here! But it should not surprise me if they have Easter eggs like that for characters, so... Let's get started then, shall we? Okay. And she's gone. Never to be seen or heard from again. <laughs> Where does he get all that energy? I... Oh, okay. I was just about to say, I don't like it. It doesn't have a railing, but it's so you can um, slide down. <laughs> Don't think we can see it from up here, though. That's a bill bell. Funny, bill bell. It? That's a big also bell. <laughs> it is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. <laughs> We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look like Shinra, at least not all of them. Okay, there's Shinra. <laughs> Never freaking mind what I just said. Damn, there's a lot of guys. <laughs> but uh, we know the drill. Really I'm actually wondering. Uh, I'm wondering if you actually have more free reigns of um, Oh, you can actually see Midgar, damn um, A free reigns of who you want to have in your party in this game in comparison to the first one where it actually chose for you Yeah, that was what I think it was for Whee! Uh, 
There you are. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the inn. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. I don't know if I should trust him or not. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Let me say back to the inn. Oh right, this is the clock tower, not the inn. <laughs> not here. Well, we know we'll take the back here. Hey, you seen anyone else suspicious? <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> it's weird to play in JRPG where you don't have to fight. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe he's Wutai. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now well, that you mentioned. Oh, he's doing a good job at it, though. Okay, he's over there. Oops. A whole more soldiers. Uh, please don't. Are you with me, Aerith? Okay, you all the way over there. <laughs> Hello, camera. Can I? Okay, I can jump down there. That went well. The end's not much. Welcome to Iris. Stay on your toes. <laughs> and we're at the end. I thought I need to stop uh, stalk. <laughs> talk to him. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Okay. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Okay. You'll get more use out of it than me. So we can craft things. You is what you're trying to say? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Okay. Uh, from the item transmuter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw material into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand uh, your transmuter's options, collect transmuter chips uh, found throughout the world, or improve your uh, craftsmanship. 
Uh, let's just take the crit tutorial. Because we're not in a hurry or anything. <laughs> So, I should see... Yeah, okay, so that's what it needs. A craftsman's material. It says Ruta Potion. Okay. Nice. Oops. <laughs> so that means... If I go in here... Oh, so I only get um, experience the first time I craft the thing. And I also don't have the items for it anyways. So, but that means I should go for getting these next, at least. So just make sure to go in and check now and then. Gotcha! Hey guys! Miss me? Here I read no dates for you. <laughs> okay, but now that we're in the sewers, it's time to make sure to look around for stuff that can be important. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Well, good thing you're a big, strong man. Why did I hesitate saying that? <laughs> a chest! I do like that it low so they are easy to spot. Always. It's not that I hate it, it's just annoying when you play a game and you can't see the chests because they're really well hidden and... E even in areas where you should be able to see them easily. So... Oh, hold. I'm not good at those uh, holding props for some reason. Oh, hello there, some light. Yeah, it's so pretty. <laughs> There's deers and birch and really weird windmills. <laughs> and also those. Breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on, on now. That's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, to left, to left, right. Damn. <laughs> I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was. The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right. Follow me. 
<laughs> Thanks, guide. Uh, adjust your battle party from the combat settings screen in the main menu. You can create up to three uh, preset parties to swap between while exploring the world. Open the commands menu and press to swap to okay. Uh, press to open the map to schedule bearings while the story while story markers uh, the story markers are the circle ones will automatically uh, add it to the map. You can place your own pins uh, by pressing R3. Okay. Uh, who? Yes. Okay. Who is my party consisting of right now? So I can make presets parties. It said. Somehow. <laughs> I have no clue how to do that. Combat settings, maybe. Uh, edit party. Okay, I think the free preset is already has uh, seems fine by me. And where I have it set is this is a freaking big area. Why does it say this is my destination? <laughs> Isn't this where I want to go from? Okay, I guess uh, since it said it's Margar and I didn't place that, I will go for that right now. Oh, there's one, more than one thing here. I got your number. Uh, and if I do this, then okay, I haven't scanned both of them. Uh, one of those battles is a slumbering with equipment summoning. Okay. You're done. That's right. It didn't get it before it died, though. That's fine. But it seems like there's a lot of things to check out. Oops. That was... How do I pick up stuff? Oh, this button. Uh, you may find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chairs in the location to, uh, to mark it on your map as complete. Oh, so I can see... If we go to the... Oops. So it says there's two chairs here. Oh, nice. So it actually does so it's a little easier at least to do completionist of things. So there should be two church chests in this area. That was uh, the first and... So that should be everything. So if I go to the map now, it just says... Yeah, completed. Nice. I do like that. Oh, that's... <laughs> I'm not jumping down there. Can I go around somehow? Oh, 
But I do like that they have given them more exploration abilities. So free chest in this area it says I'm not able to get down from here. Damn it. Sneaky little hobbit. Uh, seems like I can maybe go down over there. I'm actually impressed that I don't get any more monster counts. Okay, <laughs> never fucking mind what I just was about to say. We do this fast. Okay, you win little house. Can I climb that thing? No. I'll be back then. Okay, I can climb up that thing that should bring me out to where I need to be. At least hope so. see cattle why does it sound like you're destroying everything behind me <laughs> not that I am <laughs> anything better Okay, winning machines offer a variety of useful items that will aid you in your adventures, such as potions and plumes and pudding stamps. What is this? It allows you to use broken down uh, rest stops. Oh, that actually seems useful. And a lot of materia. Uh, since I don't have any antidotes, let's just give. We come with those. Didn't it say it had like what is this? Okay, so that is an upgrade thingy. I do wish that you don't have to do this on special uh, areas. Why am I trying to get the best out of it? <laughs> ok, 
Okay, so nine meters, eight to nine meters, just something. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. This guy. You Hello. Folks? Yeah. It's okay, I'm on your side. Okay, Tifa. <laughs> you're my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Oh, that's it. Wasn't that the one I were at um, before? Or... No. Oh, oh wow. That's... That's what we're gonna have. <laughs> Monsters! Hello. You wanna fight? There we go. Okay, so it's reach to fire and ice. So that's just okay. I'm trying to learn all the markers I can see on my radar and on top <laughs> uh, because there's a lot <laughs> to keep track on. Hello, fella. Are you okay? Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, that was the one that we drove with. Here. Thanks again for the right to call. Uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid <laughs> the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. That's hey, fine. Biggie, we're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> You'll just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Do I have enough items for this one for anything? No, I still need a couple of things. Okay. More fighting it is then. Green. Never mind then. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> so. Oh, you're a monster. I 
do I have in front of you? Uh, someone is location to bind your party members, okay? So that was what happened. On that one. I just wanted to see if there were any thing around here. Let's see, okay, the map says there's nothing here, so at least nothing of important interest. So I will try as much as possible just to I thought I heard something. I will as much as possible try to see if I can make beelines for the plot things I have to do. Um just to keep this whole thing going. Oh, I see a good chest over here. I remember purple chest in remake uh had weapons in them, so Can I actually? Oops. When I go here, um, material equipment cloud. Okay, focus trust. I have not learned yet, but yeah, I got a new weapon for him. So I need to use focus trust a couple of times more than I have already. Find them, because I then will learn the ability and habits. For myself normally. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. I guess. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could Is that good? A boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? Nope. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <laughs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> some birds can we well we seem to have to check up a oh god do we have to go all the way back to bill to <laughs> rent the chocobo okay not all the way since she's moved a little Oops, wrong button. Also, that was a weird um, thing he did. <laughs> you did it loud. Okay, how many of you do I have in for on? Uh, okay, so I have on the ogres, but not the rat thingies. Them out. That's it. Let's do it right. Just going in, just like that, okay? Yes. I do like that the battles are so seamless, but it was that in um, um, in a remake too. So 
That's the only thing that <laughs> was a little annoying with the older. Can I? Okay, so not now. Uh, I'm fine at the health and stuff like that, so I don't see any reason to rest right now. Weapon 101, okay. So I'm guessing that means that I learned... That one now? Yeah. Um, ability Fire Blades. And my guess is when I change now, uh, we change upgrade settings from the previous version. Yes, please. Oh, also, did I have. I can make this one. And now we're level 2, so I can make this one. went fast <laughs> damn <laughs> oh that one <laughs> i hear so many new voices <laughs> oh, sounds i don't hear voices not anymore Level up. Okay, so it seems that just everyone is getting uh, shared experience. That's nice. It makes it a little easier to not um, overlevel one character in comparison to everyone else. Hey, Bill. Can I rent a chicken bow? Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. It's a big humble ranch. Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Yep. Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. Have the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease. Strong legs. Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. <laughs> so can we rent some? Sure can. My nice. grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help wow. you out. Billy. <laughs> Bill and Billy. That sounds like a parody group. Parody. Parody group. I can't talk for shit. Oh, Billy. Your gram said I could talk to you about a chocobo. Howdy. It's all the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops. <laughs> Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Damn. The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or 
any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. I could work at the farm. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. Okay. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Fair enough. So there's also some pickup things over here. <laughs> Just gonna steal all your stuff. Including that chest. Timeless rod, so that's for Aerith. What's up here? Not a sneak chest. Google middle. Ow, my legs. <laughs> Hello. Sorry about my brother. That's fine. He thinks about his money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <laughs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Yeah. Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. I will. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Uh, a ranch track shop will... Yo, that was right. Uh, uh, will have chocobo gear for sale, which can only be traded for golden plums. These rare feathers can be obtained by wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. Fair enough. Um, oh, you sell ingredients. And for trades... I don't have any. <laughs> I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Uh, probably not. Why does I have an unknown amount of way to go? <laughs> Let's try looking for some tracks. Uh, how do I even get out from here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're talking about tracks here. Yeah. Good thing it followed the road. <laughs> Does make it a little easier for me. Bingo. Yeah. 
Uh, no, it's not Benko, it's Pico. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? No, yeah. uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, approach Pico without being noticed. If you are in danger of being spotted uh, by him or, in the, or one of his uh, pack mates, uh, quickly press circle uh, to roll. Don't do that. Okay, mid game checkpoint. Okay. I don't like that. So I just wait for this one to turn around and then I am um, off. So I want these things. Uh, can you not? There we go. And we got two golden plumes. Nice. Thanks. What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> and I never saw that again. I'm actually wondering, can I... No, okay. Oh well, let's get back to this place. <laughs> that music. <laughs> Was it the same that played in... Um... Remake, I can't remember actually right now. Hello. We got the bird back to you. I'm glad that at least it was easy to do this. Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Not to ride. Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? Actually, I was trying, thinking of going to talk to your sister. Thank you enough for bringing Pico back to us. You're welcome. Uh, because I have some of your feathers now. I want these. 
If you ever want to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Uh, I do like that you say stable just over there. And I have no clue what you meant. <laughs> oh, maybe this one. Oh, I can't use it before Pico is ready. Who's calling? Oh, you. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. Are you following me? You do remember me, don't you? <laughs> I do. That's why I, I have been scanning would. things. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. <laughs> but, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Juno, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. So that is... Time they sat idle and untouched. Just uncovering towers? Someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You not Sounds only okay. helping me, but yourselves as well. And everyone else. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. <laughs> but they are so far away. And this will activate it. Okay. I'll do it, but chat. The tower's close by. <laughs> Why? Allow me to accompany you. Why does it ca it's called the chat module? <laughs> I want to know the story behind that. Uh, also, I think I saw some pickups over here. Come on. Hey, Cloud. It's this way. I know, but I wanted to pick up this items. Okay, fine. Here we We're are. here. So, how much silver does it give us? Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Nice. Oh, so it only shows me things. It doesn't really cover the maps, though. Hmm. After careful cool. consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Uh Oh, that's probably why it's called Chat, because his name is Chatley. Uh, we'll employ uh, the data that you collected to develop new materia, created, uh, create new combat simulations, and embark on uh, other specific intervals. Uh, activate the remaining towers, okay. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. I will try. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Okay, I just tried to go through with each them. piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. 
What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Fair enough. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Come with a later. special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real world location. That's the combat simulator. Or my combat simulator. <laughs> as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. Thank you. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after pouring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the towering colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you oh, happen to we are have going to fight Titan just in a moment. The like? uh, specific intel related tasks. Which particular task would you like to learn about? Uh, life springs surveys. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. Fair if enough. you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, combat assignments. While it is enough. normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, crystal analysis. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me. That of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. I think I had one more parabolic salvaging? Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. Oh, really? I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. A oh, Proto Relic? <laughs> Why did that say Parabolic? A rather endearing <laughs> name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. <sighs> That's a lot of information, but I don't think Do I have anything have else. Any questions about world intel and the like? No, I think I'm good. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Um... So do you still cause a grassland point? How do I get grassland points? Oh, fire and ice materia. Yes, please. Uh, Autocast allows an ally to automatically use spells with the link material when not actively controlling during combat. Uh, allow you to turn enemies into items with morph enemies. Uh, okay. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. Thank you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Hello. Uh, assistance and defeating new fiends will provide uh, Chatley with the data you need to upgrade the simulator in combat. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, first off. 
let's put uh, I already crafted what I can craft here. I want to craft the things I haven't done before. But also I wanted to go to this one, so. <laughs> so if I put fire and ice material in here instead. But this is not linked when anything is. Oh, so it's just okay. It hasn't. It does. Well, it does not need to be linked. Okay. Wow. I have recreated Titan. The mythical colossus of the grasslands in virtual space. Fair I enough. encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Uh, use combat simulator. <laughs> it looks so goofy with those that one. Oh, there's a lot of things to do here. Um, fair enough. Let's see if we can beat up uh, the Titan. Since it's those three characters I really work with, I would go with them. Hello, little fella. Ah, you're small. Ow. I'm actually curious, can I scan him? Yeah, his weakness is wind, question mark. Yeah, I just mastered that attack. I actually keep forgetting that. Oh yeah, so I have both fire and blizzard now on this one. What are we talking about? Have you seen how much health he has left? Yeah, this is not out of me right now. I say as it hit me in the fucking back.
Okay, I don't have any of those just yet. <sighs> there we go. At least I'm giving him damage right now. Not a whole lot, but... Certain abilities, uh, certain abilities can raise the character's uh, limit level, which will in turn unlock more powerful limit breaks. Nice. But I have a summoning. Hello. Uh, fighting <laughs> summoner. Okay, summon fighter alongside. Okay, I know all more or less. I hope I'm doing good across last piece. Okay, halfway point. Don't break too bad. Okay, I need to cure myself just a little bit here. <laughs> so many turbos. Okay, I just trying to stay alive. So far, it's going great! <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> Arabia doesn't do any damage! <laughs> I need to be a little bit stronger than uh, I am right now. I have no chance of beating it. <laughs> oh well. I will be back for that. Analyzing one's failures can prove instructive. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Okay. Can I actually? No, can I not? Cloud, can... are you still gathering resources? Yes. Remember that you can transmute items with plants, ore, and other materials found the world over. Some of these materials, may... I strongly okay. suggest collecting all that you find, as they will be a boon to our research efforts. Okay, so I can make these. This is sold out. 
Oh, right, yeah. Any questions about world? Uh, I already know that. If there's anything else I can do for you, please. Um, so the things that is important to go to is these things here. Let me know. I'm always happy to help. But don't we fall later? Hey guys, you look happy. Hey, perfect timing. Thanks. He goes all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot, and your chocobo will come a running. Yes. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. The time to learn how to ride a Chocobo. Can I do this now? And I can. Nice. You're gonna be so ticked out when I'm done with you. <laughs> okay, let's start the training. Oh, you can run off in any direction and I will follow. As slowly as possible. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. You won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics. Okay. Like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? There we go. Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Fair enough. Uh, due to training grounds, Bill's ran to get the hang of chicken riding. Uh, pass east of the goalpost in order and in order and complete the course as quickly as you can. Okay, here we go. Good music. <laughs> I have a question about how long this track is. Taking uh, 10 seconds to beat the record right now. Or maybe he will get faster the more time goes on. Yeah, I really hope he gets faster because holy crap, I will not be able to do that. <laughs> not even the best. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that you got the basics it's just a matter of practice we can't thank you enough billy <laughs> oh that reminds me y'all mentioned your flat broke right yeah then you might want to swing in by my palm eye. again now that the troopers have cleared out it's probably safe for you to ask around for work though don't run off just yet my sister's looking for help not sure what the trouble is didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason honestly she hasn't been herself since mom left they did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. <laughs> she got a point. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Uh, uh, people the world over are willing to pay top guilds for Cloud's hand to hire work. 
uh, services. Uh, uh, to track the objects, open the menu, uh, map, and select quest. Okay. Uh, certain salesmen will have notice boards. Okay. Uh, you can wrap uh, to any unlock waypoints such as towns, repair jungle stops, and activated. Uh, um, remain. Wow, I can't read. Remnant wave towers. Okay. So here I can see. So these are quests. These are him, and this is a tower. <laughs> Okay, so there's a lot to learn still. Oh, so I'm guessing this is a remnant tower, right? Yeah. But let's see what she wants first. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? Yeah. I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? <sighs> Ask your brother. Okay. We'll take the job. Really? You will? Yeah. The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm guessing the countdown I can see on top now is where I have to go for doing that. So, let's go pick some flowers. Uh, where is it in comparison to anything else? Okay, that's main scenario. This is... Not main scenario. Where the fuck is... It's in that direction there. Oh, all the way over here. Holy crap. <laughs> well, let's um, see what this is. Can I place a point on that? You fucking scared me, I thought you were a monster. Stupid owl. Where are you leading me, actually? Oh, is that... Okay. Look at that! You've stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. Uh, Surround so life spring grants you the wisdom to the life spring, revealing new points of interest. So following the spring uh, seagull owl. Oh, so that's it, what it uh, lead you to the life spring. Okay. There we go. I hope. Uh, so, uh, surveying live springs allows you to decipher the knowledge and the live uh, stream. Reeling regional intel. 
Okay. Confirmed. Data received. Goody. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. I will. So... Oh, so it gives me these. Okay. Did I have that before? Can't take part in metal save system. Oh, I didn't even notice I have a whole thing up here. Damn. Fair enough. So we've got this one so far, so... Let's head to... Lydis. Okay. <laughs> Not jumping down there. <laughs> But yeah, it seems there is a lot more to this game in the first uh, than there were in the first one. Can I see? Oh, the tower is there. But again, this is also what people really wanted, isn't it? Like a more open world thing. Who said that? Uh, these tough little chicks uh, will lead you to a chocobo shop. <laughs> okay, next time is a whole one. <laughs> I was just like, why do he just... Eh. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that gives me greens too. Hello, little guy. Oh, he's happy. So, could I restore this or was it just a one-time use thing? Okay, I'm not restoring anything, that is for sure. I just want to sit good. So there's a lot of things to look out for. The tower. I'll try to be on the lookout for as many of these things as possible. But I can't promise that I will be a one hundo. So that's another broken one, but I can get this one up. Perfect. So the chocobo stuff should be fast, 12 points, right? Uh, that. Okay, I have data on all of them. Barrel of them helping in the sideline. Get 
that is actually kind of nice <laughs> that they even though they're not on my team they're still doing stuff Oh, this tower actually has to climb. I was like, oh, it's nice that I don't have to climb the towers. <laughs> Can I get higher? What does this do? Oh, that's the, the activated. I still want to climb higher because maybe there's stuff up there I need. Okay, so that is... I see that it gives me stuff underneath, so I guess that is all the things I can do. So that was all the words up here. Okay, I still think that that one up there, I saved that for later. Uh, what do we have a quest? story at least okay completed everything here okay done all these So it seems through the swamp is the next thing I have to do. Wow. There's so many things here. That's holy shiza. Let's just see what this is. I just want to learn as much as I can about different things, so... I'm guessing this is a battle thing. Alert! Alert! Danger is being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. I'm never prepared. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Okay. Good luck. Sounds fun. My sensors indicate the presence uh, of a unique life form. Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commence a guidance protocol. It may look like nothing more than a wriggling plant, but don't be fooled. Mandragora are capable of functioning as legs, allowing them to activate the sunlight. Okay, they are really too fine ice. Okay, first thing done. Use the ability. Damn it. Well, you're always welcome to make another attempt. Yeah. Can I if you say that I didn't do it completely, can I see that I didn't do it completely perfectly? 
Come on, assignment. Yeah, okay, so I can go in here and see if I didn't do it all good enough. Okay. And then I can always come back and try. Nice. I do like things like that, where you're not locked out for anything. I do also like that they use this music in this area. <laughs> There's one more thing I can pick up here. Let's uh, scan. And then I will go to the swamp and afterwards so we can actually continue the story. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. This chip likely contains an exceptionally rare formula. Okay. I recommend searching for it. Fair enough. That should actually be on the way to the swamp, right? Uh, yeah, the swamp is all the way down there, so I need to go to this area, so... Why the hell not? It's more or less on the way. Also, um, can I... Material... Uh, not material. Weapons. Uh, I can wand is what I need to do with her. But I do also hope that side quests, if you don't take them in that chapter where the you get them, you can do them later on. That was one thing I was annoyed in the first game. Hey, Cloud! It seems that a transmitter chip is buried nearby. You should be able to sniff it out with the aid of a chocobo. Okay. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the treasure hunt begin! Yay! Okay, the chocobo doesn't seem to... okay. Something nearby... Okay, I wish it was a little easier... I do wish that. <coughs> that it was better to say. Oh, there. Okay, so it says that way. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Oops, hello.
So when I sniff, they comes down. That's quite the transmuter ship you found. Thank you. In fact, it was once used in the construction of windmills. Given its rarity, I would not be surprised if someone had need of such technology. But it did say there's three things. Okay. Somewhere in that direction. Okay, so when I get that thing over his head, it means I'm close to something. And from there, I can do this. And then it says over there somewhere. Actually, this was really easy found. Can you make a 180? And only five more points to part a little, so that's nice. Can I get off? Uh, okay. <laughs> Not what I plan to do, but my next goal is down there. And I do like uh, running myself, so... things we're fine how can you be so sure because i've read the field guide like any good soldier local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in yep. defense of their territory fiends on the other hand attack without reason if they're attacking what does it matter it matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack as i gather yours can't yeah Okay, let's see. Can I transmute anything? That indeed I can. All right, level four. I'm doing good here. Uh, I have questioned about how to get to level five, though. If <laughs> this is the only thing I can get XP for. Oh, there's more categories. Windmill gear. I thought it just showed everything here on this side, so... Uh, I still need something there. Goody. So, I should be able to... Hello. Okay. I can see something really yellow over there. So, are you sure this is safe? Nope. The chocobos can handle it. Have some faith what in our is feathered this? friends. Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? Yeah. These are known as guide stones. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. 
I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia. So I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Okay. The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the Age of Myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. I think you're overreacting down there just a little bit, Tifa. Okay, where did the light go from here, though? This way? The sanctuary contained the crystallized knowledge of summoning which will strengthen the summoning materia. The path to the sanctuary is... Okay. I need to get off here. Oh, dismount. <laughs> Is that good? The secrets of the divine <laughs> dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deform entity. I'm counting on you. <sighs> that was a stupid idea of you. Uh, Examine the sound crystal will reveal its uh, memory matrix. Okay. How do I do this? Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I was a little confused there for a second because I didn't get an explanation. But I'm a gamer, yo. Thank you. I don't even have that one yet. Okay, back in the swamp we go. But I will say I really like that they have changed up the pace so just a little bit so you have more uh, things to do in areas uh, like this. Um, in comparison to the first one. The first one is not that there's anything bad uh, with it or anything. Uh, don't get me wrong on that. But it was a lot of run from point A to point B. I will admit this is too but there's a lot more things to do it seems. Uh, from point A to B. Uh, when the checkpoint icon appears above the checkpoint is here, where the is nearby. Yeah. What did we get? Moogle Mills. I need to go around. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
That does not seem to be the case. <laughs> Interesting. How do we get over on the other side? This way, maybe? Because these are closed off, both of them, yeah. It has nothing to do with this one. So many pickup items. You cannot do this to me, game. <laughs> I want to pick up everything. Okay. Thank you for the ride so far. Can you? <laughs> he was really standing in this stupid stuff. Yeah, this is the right way. Oh, you go. This way? I also really like that there's just so many pickup items every time I find one of these. Okay, and this is a shortcut, I guess. I'm thinking you could only open it for one side. Damn it! Yeah, okay, so that is... Yeah, okay. So I'm pretty sure that you could only open that gate from one side. Yep, this way. We've already been here before. There's a chest down there. Just here. And a lot of monsters. I'm not quite sure where to go from here. But uh, let's get rid of these. <laughs> Okay, so my goal is to get over on the other side. Can I get up there? Uh, that is yes, because I've been here before. <laughs> Okay. 
Yeah, we found all chests. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a chest counter for this area. Okay, but yeah, this one leads me to this one. Can I get in this building? I'm a little confused about what I have to do here. Uh, still need to get further down. Or maybe this was closed off for me. Maybe I actually needed to go this way around. Oh. So, need to go this way first. Then go this way. Yeah. Okay, I think I just me that went the wrong way. <laughs> Over there. It's hey, Sefi. <gasps> what? <laughs> There's something. Come oh, on. what? I want that chest. Don't hold back. Do I have in fundies? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Who is this guy? Hello. You. No, I don't. Okay, he doesn't have anything to say either. <laughs> but what I've gathered, those people are previous experienced soldiers. Um, they just have a hot life now. <laughs> he was on the right side. Yeah, just follow the river. Is that dry land I see? Heavens? Let's go. I don't like the scaly things that I could see, though. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not completely dry land. The World Serpent thingy. I can't remember its name right now. It disguised itself as an island. Uh, I don't have any info, of course. Duh. Allow me. Uh, witness eyes. Ah! 
I don't like that it hurt that much though. Be careful. These things already pissed off enough. It's not ready yet. Now it's What was it I needed to use? <laughs> I can want? What is There we go, Stagger. This can't be good. Ah, oh, uh, that's 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 fire. Time to join. Okay, I just need to use. To pull myself up a little. <laughs> but I do like it uh, that you have so much more you can do uh, to attack. Is it gone? Maybe. That uh, is a nope. And it kidnapped Cloud. Cloud. Oh. Wow, 
that's actually deep. <laughs> I thought it was just really muddy water, but, but no. Um, shallow is the word I was looking for. It became an ornament. And I died. <laughs> Benjamin. No, okay. I, I was close. It's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah. I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. Well, time to follow them then. Okay, I will just really check now what the Freakasoid is. Is that weapon I need? Okay, this one. Those are good. I can uh, what is what I need to do. Okay, I'm not really using you at the moment, so. Where am I in the map? Okay, I'm there, so I'm close to my goal. <laughs> well, <laughs> 200 meters. <laughs> at least, <laughs> 50 meters. Okay, but it seems like uh, this is the ending of chapter 2, and Into the Darkness is chapter 3, so... Here, isn't he? We'll just take this cutscene here. I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. Yeah. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh forget it. You guys need to focus. <laughs> Wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working mithril mine. Y'all know about mithril, right? Yeah. Not anything specific, no. It's pretty tough. And beautiful besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick yeah. up a few souvenirs then? Hmm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia, too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. <laughs> Thanks. Anyways, as I said, I will end uh, this episode off for today because I take one chapter at a time. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. You can give it a thumb up if you did. It really helps out the channel. And as always, 
Take care, everyone, and goodbye.